It was like we lived in the desert, except it was a humid desert. Yeah. And I mean, I like awful. hot weather, but it was really oppressive. We heat. were handing out, uh, giving out glasses of water and like bottles of water in the office because on Tuesday, everyone that was coming in were all like sweaty and. And you can see to this story, I think what we're doing is because yeah. of the fact. Doc, okay, this Dr. is Dr. Samadhi. Samadhi, everybody. Dr. Samadhi, welcome to Good Day New York. He's yeah. anxious to get involved. He's yeah. the chief of robotics and minimally, minimally invasive surgery at Mount Sinai Medical Center. Morning. We've had two people officially die as a result of this heat wave. We talked about the elderly. They suffered, yes, a 94-year-old woman, but also a 10-year-old girl. Yeah. Well, hyperthermia is a serious problem. Hyper. Hyperthermia. As so opposed when, to hypo. Exactly right. So when the core temperature, when the, it goes up to like 105, then you really have a lot of organs in the system in our body that's going to be affected by it. You're going to have respiratory issues. The kidneys are going to be affected. You're not going to be producing as much urine. And you're going to have the shutdown of the system. So it's a serious problem. Now, elderly, they have a very low cardiac reserve. So they, they may end up having a heart attack. And young kids, they are also very vulnerable. So we've got to make sure that we keep an eye on that. Do you get residual effects from the heat? I mean... Well, what happens is with diffuse heat over time, you're going to feel very fatigued. You're going to feel very weak. Over time, as the fluid amount goes down, your heart starts to, you're going to have a higher rapid pulse. And then you're going to end up in the later stages of it, which is coma, seizure, etc. So you want to prevent that immediately before it gets too far. All right. This weekend was out of hand. I mean, 100 degrees. I, I don't remember it ever being 100 degrees. Do we break any records, Mike? We'll check with him in a second. But uh, so the standard tips, stay hydrated. Rated, stay indoors to the extent that you can. Well, you want to make sure that you're in an air conditioning system. A lot of people, they go out and they buy these fans, and all that does is basically circulate hot air. the same hot air. So make sure you stay inside and, and in an air conditioning uh, room. And also, that's not the day that you really want to go out and start working out. So you want to make sure that you're well hydrated. Hey, Even if you're in good shape, you shouldn't be working out in that kind I of heat? I would skip those two extreme days because you really want to make sure that you're well hydrated, you're drinking, and you can skip two days without losing any muscle tone, and that's really important. And we like it. It's another excuse. Yeah, and what about, you know, going to the beach? Because a lot of people thought they would go to the beach for relief. There might be a little breeze during that heat wave. Well, as long as you're well hydrated and you're keeping cool, that's the way to go. The other mistake is that a lot of people are drinking too much water, but they're not replacing all the minerals and sodiums. So things like Gatorade can actually supply some of the salts that you would be losing. That's really important. The other hint is if you're elderly and you're on blood pressure medication, a lot of times they take these water pills. You want to make sure you talk to your doctors, and you may have to skip that, those medications on those days because that can really lower your blood pressure, and that could be really dangerous. So talk to your doctor on those extreme days. All right, Dr. Samadhi, thank Great. you so much. Great to see you again. Thanks for having me.